Every year, tropical storm season in the Atlantic lasts from the start of June to the end of November, and it comes with a series of names for these tropical systems. So that's what I thought we could talk about today, starting off with a tropical depression. Now, a tropical depression is just an organized group of thunderstorms with a clear center of low pressure, winds of 38 miles per hour or less. So it's the weakest of everything. Then you have a tropical storm. Now tropical storms have wind speeds of 39 to 73 miles per hour and tropical storms actually get names. So named storms are typically tropical storms or greater. And then if a tropical storm strengthens to hurricane speed, that's wind speeds of 74 miles per hour or greater. Now within hurricanes, you can of course get even stronger hurricanes category one to category three. If a hurricane gets up to category three status, that means it is a major hurricane and it has winds of greater than 111 miles per hour. Now the Saffir Simpson scale is the scale that measures hurricanes from category one to category two category three on are major hurricanes and if you get a hurricane with wind speeds of 157 miles per hour or greater that is a category five hurricane there's no such thing as a category six because anything greater than category five uh, speed of 157 miles per hour is still a category five hurricane. So that's just a quick rundown of the types of tropical systems that we expect around the Gulf of Mexico from the start of June to the end of November.